Good morning my dear students in this video we will discuss the textual questions and answers of the prose the missile man of india first of all we should read this quotation of apj abdul kalam the dream is not what you see in sleep the dream is something which doesn't let you sleep let's understand the text who was dr apj abdul kalam dr apj abdul kalam was one of the most distinguished scientist of india you can add he was the 11th president of india okay question 2 question number 2 why is dr kalam known as the missile man of india as he was intimately involved in india's civilian space program and military missile development efforts he came to be known as the missile man of india where was he born when he was born on 15th october 1931 in a tamil muslim family at rameshwaram in the state of tamil nadu who were his family members his parents three elder brothers and a elder sister were in his family who were his father and mother his father was jenul abdin and mother was asyamma what was his mother his mother was a housewife how did his father on his living his father on his living by taking hindu pilgrims back and forth between rameswaram and dhanuskodi in his ferry where kalam ancestor rich or poor how do you know it kalam's ancestors were rich i know it by reading the sentence his ancestors had been wealthy traders and land owners number 9 how did he add to his family how did he add to his family supplement he added to his family by selling newspaper okay number 10 what is the third paragraph about the third paragraph is about his elementary education where did he get his primary education he got his primary education at ramnathpuram who was his science teacher siba subramania ayer was his science teacher what was he like he was very loving and affectionate he means here siba subramania ayer his science teacher what did he invite kalam for he invited kalam for a meal how did his wife react to it his wife disliked and refused to serve a muslim child like him what changed her attitude kalam's behavior way of taking the meal and cleaning the floor changed her attitude her means the wife of his science teacher sibba subramania ayer how did she behave him later later she welcomed him and served him food herself who does he in the third sentence of para 3 refer to in the third sentence of para 3 he refers to kalam science teacher siba subramania ayer the fourth paragraph is about his both higher education and secondary education was he good at studies at the high school read out the sentence in support of your answer yes he was good at studies at the high school the sentence is in his school years he had average grades but was considered a bright and hard working student who had a strong desire to learn what was kalam's dream in life kalam's dream in life was to become a pilot what did he do to fulfill his dream in life to fulfill his dream in life he applied for studying engineering at the madras institute of technology do you have any dream how can you fulfill your dream in your life put your answer in the comment box tumhe chahe ho comment box re tumhe tumhar answer dio what you will like to be मैं कारण है पर के चाहूँ जो राइट और आंसर इन कमेंट बॉक्स। What problem did he face for his admission into engineering education at a prestigious institute? 
institutions was not so easy. It was an expensive affair. Around a thousand rupees was required to pay towards the course fee. He didn't have it. That was the problem he faced at the time of his admission. Who came to his help? How? Asim Zora, his compassionate elder sister, kind-hearted compassionate means kind-hearted elder sister, came to his help. She mortgaged her gold ornaments for his admission fee. Number 26. When did he complete his aerospace engineering? He completed his aerospace engineering in 1960. Name the institution where he got secondary education, Squash Higher Secondary School, graduation in physics, St. Joseph College, Tiruchirapalli, Aerospace Engineering, Madras Institute of Technology. The paragraph 5 and 6 describe Kalam's career as Dex. A marine engineer, a plant scientist, an aerospace scientist, a software engineer. Obviously, the answer is an aerospace scientist. How did he begin his career? Kalam began his career as a trainee at the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited (SAL) in Bangalore. Where was he appointed as a scientist first? He was appointed the Defense Research Development Organization DRDO as a scientist. When did he start his work in the When did he start his work in the Indian Space Research Organization? In 1969 he started his work in the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO. ISRO. What was the purpose of the satellite? The purpose of the satellite was to develop the technology to launch satellite. When was the first Rohini satellite launched into the orbit? The first Rohini satellite was successfully launched into the orbit in 1980. How many years did Kalam spend in the ISRO? Kalam spent 19 fruitful years, fruitful means successful. 19 fruitful years in the ISRO. Where did he take the leading role in the development of India's missiles and nuclear weapons program? He took the leading role in the development of India's missiles and nuclear weapon program in the country's integrated missile development program IGMDP India DO. What made him extremely popular in the country? The success of the four missile, namely Prithivi, Trishul, Akash and Nag, made him extremely popular in the country. What was he called after the success of the four missiles, Prithivi, Trishul, Akash and Nag? After the success of the four missiles, Prithivi, Trishul, Akash and Nag, he was called the Missile Man of India. Why did he camp in Rajasthan's third desert. He camped in Rajasthan's third desert to supervise the Pokhran second nuclear test. What, according to Dr. Kalam, was the defining moment in the history of our country? According to Dr. Kalam, the success of Pokhran second nuclear test was the defining moment in the history of our country. Why was it very hard to camp in Rajasthan third desert? It was very hard to camp in Rajasthan third desert because the day was hot and the temperature at Pokhran was 53 degrees Celsius. What are Kalam's contribution for India's defense program? Kalam's development developed a number of missiles and nuclear weapon for our country. Dr. Kalam was the chief scientific advisor to the ex of India, the president, the prime minister, the field marshal, the secretary of defense. Obviously the answer is the prime minister. What awards and honors was Kalam honored with? Kalam was honored with the Padma Bhushan in 1981, the Padma Vibhushan in 1990, and the nation's highest civilian honor, 
द भारत रत्न इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी सेवन बाई द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया वॉट इज द हाइस्ट सिविलियन एवॉर्ड ऑफ आवर कंट्री द भारत रत्न इज द हाइस्ट सिविलियन एवॉर्ड ऑफ आवर कंट्री हाउ डिट कलम पास आई वे इट वॉज ट्वेंटी सेवेन जुलाई टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन डॉक्टर कलम वॉज डेलीवरिंग ए लेक्चर इन शिलॉंग ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ हिज लेक्चर ही कलास्ट ही वॉज इमिडिएटली टेकन टू ए हॉस्पिटल दे आर ही पास ए वे ड्यू टू मासिव कॉन्टेक्ट अरेस्ट हाई विल पीपुल अफ आवर कंट्री रिमेम्बर कलम फॉर एवर द पीपुल अफ आवर कंट्री उल रिमेम्बर कलम फॉर एवर फॉर हिज डेडिकेशन डिवोशन एंड सेल्फलेस सर्विस टू द नेशन particularly as the missile man of india what qualities of dr kalam do you like very much you should write your answer in the comment box here here are two great scientist of our india identify the two scientist and put their name in comment box thank you Thank you so much